Hey guys, it's Pat from Pat's Bar, and uh, today we are going to be finding out what is better, the Murgy Straight on keg or on cask. That's right, we're milking the uh, Murgy Straight for all it's got. Uh, in my case, remember, it's the Murgy Roach. Uh, those of you that watched the end of the Rude video will understand why I just called it that. Um, so yeah, we've got the uh, keg filled up and all carved up nicely as per the grain to glass video. But uh, I've also got a couple of people coming around later today. So I've also hooked up the hand pull with the in a bag. Can't wish I'd uh, got myself a little murgy straight slash murgy roach hand pull uh, clip. Oh well, maybe next time, maybe next time. Um, so what we're going to be doing is, uh, before people come around, we're going to have a sample of uh, the beer from the uh, hand pull and do a side-by-side -side comparison with, uh, with the kegged beer. So let's pour ourselves a couple of pints and uh, do a comparison. Here's the first one. Now let's do the second. Give that one a moment to settle out. So, looking on the camera, uh, the kegged beard does look a little bit darker than it actually is in reality. Um, let's just do a little bit of a side by side. So, colour, I would say exactly the same. Maybe a little bit lighter on the uh, cast. Shouldn't be uh, any reason why. Um, don't know. Maybe, maybe. Uh, with regards to the head, well, obviously that's not really a fair comparison considering the hand pull has the, um, what's it called? Aerator thing at the end. So that always gives a nice big fluffy head. But the colour of it, Exactly the same, obviously. Nice white head. Um, both of them had tight, uh, tight bubbles on the aroma. Now the head has vanished off of this one already, but that just gives an opportunity to get to the aroma a bit better. So you're getting your citrus fruits from the nose on that one. Um, yeah, grapefruit mainly, as I called out before. That's the thing, I always go like, ahead of a beer, it kind of does get in the way of the aroma at times, but I'd say it's coming up at about the same level. Now, it's just the tasting, isn't it? Well, let's just have a, a little reminder of the caked version. So I'm going to say the exact same things as what I called out in the Brude video. You know, it's got the citrus grapefruit. I think I used the word lime last time. I don't know if lime's the right sort of citrus for it. But then definitely what I would call uh, a mango and peach in the flavour. Really nice beer. On to the hand pot. So, I 
I'm trying to think of differences rather than just telling you exactly what has come across from the keg. So the uh, the head that comes from coming through the hand pull, um, it's adds a little bit of a, I don't know if creamy is the right descriptive. Um, but yeah, it kind of gives it this little creamy head that, you know, it's just another component, it's another layer to the beer maybe. I mean, I think uh, I'd said in the brew day video that um, I've kept the carbonation quite well. I thought to start with that the, the uh, carbonation was a little bit high, but it actually hadn't come across into the, the beer, um, which is good. But in any case, um, you know, they're a very similar level. Well, obviously, there's no carbonation in uh, the cast version, uh, whereas there's, let's say, a small amount in here, but Maybe that adds a tingle to the taste. A tingle to the taste, tingle to the taste, tingle to the taste. Oh. Whereas this one adds like a, more just a smooth um, drinking. And neither of which are bad. I'm enjoying them both. I think from drinking them at the moment, visually it's always nice when you've got halfway down the beer and it's already it's holding onto its head. Um, in the caked one, it's not, but you know, it's clinging to that glass, which is another really pleasant so, so um, you know, maybe on the visual aspect, the, the cast version maybe has it. I can't, I can't say one's better than the other. I think in the past, where I've kind of Maybe when the beer is a bit more carbonated, um, it really does kind of change the flavours. But because of the levels of where they're at, they're pretty much the exact same beer. So it's all down to preference, isn't it? Which, all drinking, eating, everything is down to personal preference. So, uh, as I say, I've got some people popping by later. I've got a funny feeling they're going to prefer the cake version, but everyone loves playing with the hand pull. <laughs> um, so, you know what, I don't know which is going to be, uh, you know, more, more used tonight. We'll see, we'll see. All right. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had both, so I can't even tell you which one generated that. Maybe it was just my lunch. Apologies. In any case, guys, uh, it's Pat from Pat's Bar drinking the beers from Pat's Brewery. The Murgy Roach inspired by Four Priests Brewery, Murgy Strait. Cheers. <laughs>